Yes, Jez. Hey. Yes, how are you, brother? Nice one. What's up, guys? We've done it. We've hit a million subscribers. Come on. And it's all thanks to you guys. Honestly, I'm a little bit lost for words. It's, it's incredible. The speed of the growth of this channel, it, it, it blows my mind. In the space of just eight months, we've hit a million subscribers and I've got only you guys to thank for that. So I appreciate every single one of you. And it makes me happy to see that you guys are enjoying my content. Now, a million subscribers is a big milestone. So you know we gotta do something big and it doesn't get much bigger than Ed Sheeran. So that's who we've got in this video. I filmed with Ed Sheeran. I haven't put it out on YouTube until now. I've been saving it to celebrate a million subscribers. But just quickly before we get into the Ed Sheeran stuff, I do wanna say that to any kids out there seeking followers, followers should never be the goal. Your value, our value is, is not determined by how many followers or subscribers we've got on an app that could be deleted tomorrow or go out of fashion next week. Some of the people that I respect the most have hardly any followers on social media and some of them don't even have social media at all. With many followers comes much criticism and scrutiny. You become a prime target for malicious attacks, online abuse, and toxic trolls feel entitled to dehumanize you, hate on you, even spread malicious lies trying to defame your character. Um, there are many things that come with a large following and not all of them are positive. So obviously you guys, you're my people. So your positivity is unbelievable to me. It gives me life. Every time I go in my comment section, I'm overwhelmed with the positivity, the love, your positive energy. It, it, transfers to me and it makes me want to create more good content for you guys to enjoy but unfortunately in this life there are always going to be toxic trolls malicious people haters uh, and spiteful individuals who actively try to tear people down rather than elevate each other now the community that i'm trying to build is one where we elevate each other we lift each other up we give each other energy and we give each other life because we want to see each other do well uh, but unfortunately, not all of the world is like that. So there are also many amazing things that come with having a large following. For example, it enables your voice to reach millions instantly without the need for the compounding effect because we all impact millions of lives, whether we know it or not, whether we like it or not. Through the butterfly effect, every action has a reaction and the ripple effect goes on and on and on and on infinitely. So whether you've got no followers or a million followers, you're going to have an effect on millions of people regardless. And that's a principle that I think uh, is largely missed in this generation. We are all influencers, whether we like it or not, we don't have a say in that. <laughs> uh, just by being alive and having contact with other people, um, we are impacting millions through the butterfly effect. Social media is not intrinsically good or bad. It's like a knife. You can use it for bad to kill someone or you can use it for good to save a life in surgery. It's just how you use it. And I always encourage people to tailor their feeds in a way that edifies them, builds them up, um, makes them feel better rather than worse for going on their social media. And I always say, uh, you have to be selfish with it. So if watching my stuff makes you feel bad about yourself and worse and it's not helping your life, you have to unfollow me, you have to uns unsubscribe. But it's always my intention to make my content um, motivate, inspire, uplift, make people feel better, add value to the people consuming my content as opposed to uh, detract from their life. So I think for the most part, my content does achieve that, whether it puts a smile on someone's face or inspires them to get up and go, encourages them, motivates them, uplifts them. That's always my intention. And um, yeah, I think, it sh I think it shows with the growth of the channel. My number one priority is always to add value, add value add value to you guys. Make sure that you don't watch my videos without coming away with something of value. Even if, even if it was just 10, 15 minutes of, of pure entertainment that made your day better. That's a win for me, that's a success. And even better if I can entertain you while teaching you something or inspiring you or motivating you or encouraging you, uplifting you, making your day better. That is the ultimate win for me. So I'm gonna keep creating content that's designed to do that. And all I want you guys to do is just keep enjoying it if you enjoy it. And if you don't, I've got to go. You've got to unfollow me. You've got to unsubscribe. I'm no good for you. <laughs> right, enough talking. That's the message. I did feel like it was important to get that message across because I see a lot in this generation of young kids in particular feeling 
devalued because they don't have a large following. Trust me, your value is not derived from social media followers or subscribers. You're valuable, you're valuable to me. I appreciate every single one of you. And like I said, some of the people that I respect the most, I have the most respect for these people, they don't have any followers on social media. So there you go, that's coming from me and it's coming from, from there, from the heart. So I hope that sinks into your spirit and resonates with your soul. Let's get into the video, Ed Sheeran. I would say this is probably the biggest name that I've ever collaborated with. It's an absolute honor and a privilege. Now how this came about is I was asked to take part in Ed Sheeran's amazing TikTok live stream now if you haven't already make sure you check out Ed Sheeran's TikTok page to see some of the clips also by the way there is not a nicer person in showbiz Ed Sheeran is like the nicest guy you could imagine just so down to earth so cool so talented ah he's just a man he's a legend and I was just so grateful for the opportunity to film with Ed Sheeran yes guys so look I'm here with the main man himself Ed Sheeran my brother how you doing we've What's just we've just filmed a little segment I don't want to give too much away but I think it's, it's gonna go down well it's gonna... I think so yeah it's the uh we didn't think we'd get it at all when we got it first time which is good and Ed's doing a, an exclusive live performance tomorrow let, in fact let me show you where, where we are yeah, Let's have yeah, a look. Yeah. So come through here with us we are at Portman Road. Portman Road. Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town Stadium. Look at this. Literally booked out the whole stadium. <laughs> That's how Ed rolls. <laughs> So what? So who's? Are you uh, Leighton Orient, West Ham? No, I'm, I'm Arsenal. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not the best yeah. time for us, but yeah. You excited about tomorrow? Super excited. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I'm very. I haven't done anything in so long, man. I kind of like semi-retired and became a dad, and just have been doing that full time. Actually, I've just literally gone home, bar, fed her, bath to put her to bed, and come and come back here. So I'm still trying to like balance like dad work. But, yeah. Yeah. How is it though? The best, man. You got kids? No, but I'm. I'm 33 now, so yeah. like, I'm at that age where most of my mates have now got kids and they all say it's the best thing. It's like, it's just a lifestyle shift, man. You just like, I felt like I became an adult overnight. Yeah. You like, it's the best. It's the best. Because you put all your time and effort into something that's like so wholesome and good. Yes. And it's like, someone will be, oh, we should go on this mental night out. And you weigh it up and you go, is that, is that going to be more fun than actually hanging out with my kid? And yeah. yeah. So that was it guys, that was Ed Sheeran. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, what a privilege and an honor for myself on a personal note to film with such a legend. Uh, now before we go, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do a giveaway for a million subscribers. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And the thing that we're giving away is this incredible Captain America shield. Now I haven't showed you this properly. Let me show you this. This is a massive contender for the coolest thing that I own. Honestly, have a look at this. On the back, you can see it says Vibranium Combat Shield. Look at the detail. It's quite heavy as well. This is actually worth more than the Iron Man helmet giveaway that we did before. So yeah, this is an incredible prize, guys. And one of you guys is going to win it. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Jez, how? How do we enter? I want this, how do we enter? Uh, it's very simple. You have to just follow me on Facebook and engage with my stuff. And I'll pick someone random from the comment section and get your address and send you this incredible prize. So yeah, I bought one for myself and one for you guys because I knew I wanted to do a giveaway and I knew that so many of you would want it and I wanted one of you guys to have it. So you know me, I try to get good prizes that you guys will actually really want. 
and try and make the competitions as easy as possible. So literally just follow me on Facebook, comment on my stuff and I'll just pick a winner at random and send this incredible prize to a lucky winner. Guys, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video as always. Uh, plenty more banging content to come. I see a lot of you pre and you don't even It's not that time. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Don't worry, the next garage update's coming soon. Um, thank you again for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I always say, turn on your notifications because YouTube pushes out my short videos, but my longer form videos probably won't get recommended to you unless you've got your notifications on. So make sure you turn on your notifications and that way you never miss out on a video. So guys, thank you again for your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, and as always, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.